What's up, y'all? This is Dub It Down. So, my last video, I got on there talking about why I dislike YouTube and I called the whole YouTube community shitheads. It's not really that y'all are shitheads, it's just the content y'all create are, are shitty. <coughs> Sorry, I'm about a little out of breath. <coughs> But y'all, y'all come up with this shitty ass content to serve the system. Y'all do nothing for the, you know, the real YouTubers out there that just want to search, have a, have conversations, want to like build, help them build themselves. Y'all do like very little. That's why I call the whole community shitty. But y'all are just like, y'all done fell off completely. When, when, um, it came to monetize, like, everybody got excited about it. But when it came down to it, nobody could really do it because it was too hard to do on your YouTube channel. But then if you, you know, if you became an artist, you could kind of monetize that way. It still wasn't a much money, but you were making like me. I've been on uh, DistroKid for eight months, and I made $28 so far. You know, it's not a lot of money, but I made 24 off of YouTube, and the rest was off the other ones. Which you could tell how small they're keeping me because of my numbers. When I have when I have fifty seven albums, I should be hitting my numbers should be hitting, you know, thousands a day. Because I they they did not uh they did not showcase my albums when I released them, but I've been working on my music for uh, about ten years. But what they did is they basically like. When it came to my albums, they would not, like, give me any, uh, visibility because I dropped... When I got on DistroKid, I had so many albums already made, and then I dropped, like, 31 albums or 35 albums in a year, a year's period. So, they, they were, like, they just thought I was spamming albums, but that was all my albums together. So, now I've been on there for eight months, and I made, like, 15 more albums, you know what I'm saying, but uh, I, I've, uh, and then they were like, they would only showcase one album out of all 57 of my albums, they never got, they never got visibility like they needed, and they kept me smaller than I am, and then the algorithm took over, and the algorithm don't like white people, you know, the algorithm is, uh, set up for, you know, it's, it's some kind of racist, type of system going on but it only it only uh helps black people out it only promotes black people's videos that's what ai is but you know if you if you don't know about ai yet then you guys will soon that's why these videos are all shitty on here you know the ai makes these it shows these these numbers like and to show your uh some dumbass looking dude He'll be on there with 90,000 views. Not one person in the world wants to watch a stupid ass video. He, you know, you could tell the video is fake because of the thumbnail. And then you could tell because of the title of the video. You could tell he's just like trolling the system. So no one's even, no real person in this world is even clicking on this shit. And probably what he did is he bought 90,000 of his views. They're fake views, but he bought them. So you can't tell him nothing. He he got them views himself. But I I don't even think he has one fucking view in real life. But it will say on there he has 90,000 views. But the AI system, I'm going to tell you right now, is racist. It only it only helps out black people on YouTube. I'm not sure about these other these other ones. I'm, it's pretty uh pretty much the same all around. AI is pretty much the same program all the way around. But uh, AI is racist. It only helps out black people. Keeps a, a white person down. But, you know, that's that's uh, probably because of, I'll be honest, it's probably because of uh, Barack Obama. Because he, he created a lot of the AI. But, you know, the AI system is racist. But that's why the, that's why they, um, they don't really want you to notice but you know i could get on there and talk about it a little bit but you know youtube is just trash there's if you get on there on recently uploaded it will give you like 
you'll see like just seven, eight, nine videos on your banner that are just like totally ridiculous. I'm trying to get on there right now, but my my computer keeps messing up when I get on my digital camera trying to record my um yeah I don't even want to be on this page I want to be on my home page okay let me take you over here and we'll see what this is so some weird some weird person on here has a video I am a reflection of you makes you think for a minute but it's like I don't know what she's going at and then let me see it just looks like all trash on here every every single time I get on every single time I get on YouTube all I see is a bunch of trash that it's not even worth watching but their numbers are so high you're like wow they got a lot of views but it, all these views are fake because there's not one thing on here I want to watch you know what I mean and it's because of the people who are trying to monetize the system and that's why everybody is a YouTube creator now because it, when they heard they could quit their job and make uh, YouTube videos for a living who, who, who cares if they were true for or not they were just making videos but that's why you know that's why I think YouTube is gonna be shut down because it's all it's all fake on here there's nothing worth watching you know it's and then what they do is they copy someone else's title and they just re reword it and they're their own title and make a they try to like spam the system by like copying other people's videos you know then you get like podcasts that are just ridiculous they talk about they talk about like you know just complete things uh, things about music that the artist when the artist gets on there he's like he he watches these these little uh podcast videos about them trying to them trying to talk about how the artist makes money and all this and they don't they don't talk about anything about the artist out there can't even make not even minimal wage as an artist but they're out there talking about you could get 30 million views, 30 million subscribers, and they forget that not everybody has that many people that are really listening to their stuff because all these people on the podcast they're talking about people with high numbers on their on their um that come on their music stuff. They're talking about people with like you know a hundred thousand followers but what about the person that can't even get over a hundred uh a hundred um followers you know what i'm saying because the ai system hates them so bad you know the ai system is like totally against that person and then everybody's like scratching their head like well why can't this person get views when this music is hitting number one in the world probably off the charts around the world you know what I'm saying? Because they won't even let me listen to my own albums without taking my views from me every single time. I, if I listen to one of my own albums, my numbers will go back down to zero. So I'm, I can't even listen to my own album, which is crazy. But that's how it is right now. So, you know, I've only heard, heard my album. I made a listening party on one video and it got like five views or something in reality it got more views than that but these people try to keep your numbers down but if I if I watch my own uh, music my numbers will decrease they'll be like the system will detect me watching my own videos and subtract my numbers but I was just trying to listen to my own album because I haven't even heard it yet I freestyle my album so I don't even have it memorized but you know that's what I'm saying is the AI is like you know the AI is crazy, man. That's all it, it wants to make this dude, uh, this dude best believe. He they make him like some Florida rapper that I never even heard of until like a few years ago. But you know what I'm saying? He's obviously some kind of clone rapper. He's like riding around in big trucks and stuff like that. And people in Florida don't really act like that, man. So the, I don't even think the dudes from Florida. But that's just my opinion on it. I don't really like Best Believe like that. I think he's trash rapper. You know what I'm saying? I don't like his. I don't like him copying Gucci Man style and stuff like that. 
but I don't like these Florida rappers like Kodak Black. I don't like him at all. Um, let me see here. Rick Ross, a Florida rapper. I don't like him at all. Uh, let me see here. Pitbull, I like, I used to like him a lot. I like Pitbull. I like Trick Daddy. Uh, let me see the Florida rapper. I like 69 Boys. Um, let me see any Florida rappers I don't know about. Um, Kodak, don't like him. Let me see, Florida rappers. I don't know, maybe, uh, what's his name? Flo Rida. Flo Rida ain't from Florida. He, he moved to Florida. He's not really originally from Florida, Flo Rida, but I used to like Flo Rida stuff. Uh, let me see here. But I don't like Best Believe, man. I don't like the... I don't like his style. I don't like his rap. I don't. I don't like anything about Best Believe and and Kodak Black. I hate to say it, but both of them are just clones. They got the tattoos on the face. It means you're a clone. But you know, I ain't gonna get into that too much. But that's what these rappers selling you these fake dreams, like these these cornball rappers, like Best Believe, corniest dude that's on there. Him and um, what's the other white dude's name? Uh, what's that white dude's name? Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Is Tom McDonald cornball? Just some cornballs. I don't even, I don't even consider them rappers. They're just cornballs. They're like, you know, they're so staged. Like Kodak Black is such a staged little. They they try to make them the the jails down in Florida try to make their little rapper Kodak Black. You know what I'm saying? They try to. That's the that's the jail system working at Kodak Black in there and trying to trying to throw him in there. He talks with his little fake accent. I can't stand Kodak Black, but um, you know I'm not gonna apologize about talking bad about the YouTube community. I don't like y'all on here. Y'all never supported me. Um, when I was watching my own videos of uh five times back to back. To get my numbers up to five at least, they were subtracting even that from me. They were, they were taking five views. My numbers would get up to like nine, twenty-five, forty, and then they would they would subtract them back down to zero. And I was like, man, if they're they're really not taking a, a little bit, they're taking a lot, because not only do they do this on every video, but they do it every single time it hits those numbers. They subtract it back down. So, you know, they're not taking a little bit. They're taking a lot. But these these rappers are all cornballs. I used to like Gucci Man back in the day when his first album dropped. That's the only album I like from Gucci. But, you know, these rappers are trash. Best believe he's a fucking trash-ass dude. I don't like him at all, man. And that's just my opinion on it. But, uh, you know, Chris Brown is having some kind of beef with uh, Quavo or something like that. I'm not sure the name of Domingo he's rapping with. But, um, you know what I'm saying? I don't really care about that. There, there's some gays in the industry. I don't really, I don't really give a fuck about them because they're like, they're nasty ass dudes, man. They're just a bunch of, they're a bunch of gays on the DL. All them rappers are a bunch of gays. Uh, P. Diddy's boys, you know what I'm saying? That's why, uh, Drake got a BBL. I was like, man, what's this, uh, what's this? A guy getting a BBL? I was like, man, this is nasty, man. This, this dude's out of control with this. So when I heard the Rick Ross, Rick Ross this, Rick Ross was on point with it when he dissed the uh, Dre. You know what I'm saying? So I think Rick Ross ultimately won that battle. But Drake got a BBL and then he used AI on all this shit. So you know what I'm saying? Drake just told the whole world he was trash. Basically, uh, even that, even this uh, dropping "Give Me 50 was AI. And he's going to tell you it's not, but it was always, always. And then, you know what I'm saying? If, if he used AI on his diss tracks, then he used AI on all his other stuff, too. So that's what I've been saying. You can watch some of my older videos because I said I talked about it already. I talked about all the music came out in the last 10 and 20 years been AI. And you're going to say, no, we didn't have AI back then. But yes, they did. What do you think? Uh, what do you think the military was uh, up to? There was AI 20 years ago. Matter of fact, there was AI 30 years ago, but it wasn't that big of a deal. You know what I'm saying? It was still in its, uh, it was still in its, you know what I'm saying? There was two stages to the, uh, to the, to the movie, uh, the movie, uh, The Matrix. The first movie was the Terminator series, and then The Matrix was after that. 
according to the real oracle, you know what I'm saying, but, you know, that's what, that's what they don't, that's what the, uh, system failed to realize is that back, back then it was like, it was like the Terminator series, now it went into the Matrix series, but once, once, uh, that scene that, uh, Neo cut, or the Neo, not Neo, but the other dude, the girl cut the dude's neck, and then he recloned himself, or respawned himself right then and there, in the last Matrix film, that was like the real ending, but they, they cut the ending into, uh, rejuvenating the Matrix again, but that was, he really died right then and there, when they cut his neck, I mean, the woman cut the dude's neck when she, uh, she got up to him, that was the real ending, but he respawned himself, but that's when the Matrix officially lost a Neo, because that's why they, that's why they call Eve, uh, Neo evil, is because he won the Matrix, when that, when that scene happened, he actually won the Matrix, and, you know what I'm saying, that's why he can, um, that's why he can, uh, get out, he can stand on his own, because he was one with the Matrix, and he can stand on his own with or without the Matrix, but that's when he won, basically, but that's another topic at hand, but, uh, you know, there's some, uh, Meek Mills, Diddy's Boy, I mean, they're all Diddy's Boys on there, everybody's a Diddy's Boy, you know what I'm saying, that's why I don't like, I don't like messing with these rappers, I don't like none of them at all on here, there's some rappers that I listed on my Facebook page, on one of my, um, one of my websites, my, my description of the, of my posting my website, I put a few rappers' names that I like at my top 20. But if you want to read that, you can read that on my Facebook page. You have to scroll a little bit and look at what I wrote on there, and particularly like on my website uh, post that I did. But that's another day and time. But you know, you don't have to do that particularly if you don't want to. But you know, my I'll, I'll post I'll post my I'll uh you know, post my website link in there so you guys can check out how to build a website, how to do all that on your, on, when you look at mine, you can use it as a template, but you can get into my Facebook, follow me on all my channels if you want, you know, become a real fan because, you know, the last video I said I don't want to make no more videos right now, but now I thought about it as I'm going to keep talking my, my good stuff because... That's what, that's what, you know, I'm here to do, is talk my good stuff, but I'm not, uh, I'm not concerned about these rappers out here, they're all fake, and then they got the, um, got the, um, let me see here, yeah, how to, you know, my last video, how to build a website, but these rappers are fake, let me see what else is going on there, rappers are fake, uh, YouTube is fake, they're all trying to monetize, uh, Facebook is just trash, bunch of dorks on Facebook, then you got, uh, you got the other streaming services that are trying to steal from people, you know what I'm saying, they're, they're not giving you your real view count, they're, they're showing less so they don't have to pay you, and every one of them are doing that, the big ones especially are, I don't know about the smaller streaming services, I don't think they need to steal from you right now, but if they could, they would, but I don't think they are, particularly it's just the bigger ones, you know, for some reason they like to steal money from people, and, and YouTube especially, is taken from both my channels, they're subtracting views from both my channels, and I'm, I'm just getting organic views because I watch myself, so I don't miss, you know, because I'm not editing editing any of my videos, I'm just going straight through them, and I'm going off the top of the head, I'm not, they're not, uh, written or anything like that, but that's why I watch my videos a few times, and find them interesting, because my, my topics are off the top of the head, that's why I like to go back and, and, uh, review it myself, and, you know, after I, after I post it, but anyways, my voice is a little raspy, so, <laughs> No, that's what I wanted to talk about, and I'm not really woken up all the way, so I don't know uh, where I was just running around with my topics at hand, but that's what, uh, excuse me, that's what I was thinking was, uh, 
a good place to talk about why YouTube was, um, why YouTube is trash and why I'm not apologizing to the YouTube community because I called y'all a bunch of shitheads, which I think y'all are, because y'all never liked any of my videos, y'all gave me no popularity when I was a I was a popular dude, you know what I'm saying? I just get it naturally, because I'm natural. But, you know, a lot of people out here aren't natural, and they, they uh, strive for their popularity, and they, they do get it a little bit, but they paid for it. But that's why the algorithm don't really like me, or they're confused by me. They're like, how does this dude get all this without paying? They don't know what to think about me, but I don't, I don't really care what the algorithm thinks. You know what I'm saying? We'll get on some more subjects at hand. You guys can, uh... You guys can tell me what you think about these subjects. I'm not really sure. Just a lot of things on my mind that I wanted to, get to go over. But one thing in particular was that YouTube is just subtracting views. And that's why, you know, I don't I don't believe that that's the correct way to uh, run a business. You know, then the podcast, I was getting into that briefly. I was talking about... I was talking about... Um, they're just... They're just paid. Uh, they're trying to. They're trying to burn up the algorithm by, by um, creating little stupid videos that nobody wants to watch, and they're they're burning up all the spots on YouTube, where you can't get any visibility because everything's coming out as trash, and then it's not even worth. Uh, it's not even worth uh, scrolling on your YouTube, and then. The music, like I was saying briefly, I got into it, and all the music came out in the last 30 years, been AI. Then I got into it for a minute, talking about how the um, how the um, system 30 years ago was the was a Terminator, and then it went into the Matrix like 10, 15 years ago. We were we went into the Matrix level, but the Terminator and the Matrix were actually one movie. But that's any, anyways, that's a few subjects I got into, and I can't remember what I talked about after that. But alright guys, it's been fun. Take it easy. Dub it down.